Yo, what's up, people? This is another episode of the Taylor Made McCrenzy Show. I got a special guest here today. My brother, fellow Hebrew Israelite, my op, Ambassador Carlos Dwayne. What's up, brother? What it do? What it do? What it do, fam? Hey man, hey man, I'm glad I got you on here today, man. Or well, tonight, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad I got you on here, man, because I had to get you in here. Um, you know what I'm saying? Tell the people where you're from, man. Tell the people where you're from. Um, you already know, man. Uh, a little town called Pensacola that they, 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 they have big dreams, big visions. Um, the fastest the fastest man came up out of here. That's Justin Gatlin. Oh, yeah. You got the baddest boxer, Roy Jones Jr. Yeah. You got the man with the most yard touchdown, Emmy Smith. Yeah. We got a we got a plethora of people and, and visionaries and stuff. And that's just on the on the famous tip that might clue y'all in. Yeah. <laughs> but Warrington, Florida. Warrington, Florida. Yeah, 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 man. Man, we known each other for years, so man, it's good to get you on here. Man, tell the people. Um, first question I got for you. First question I got for you is, how can we get our so-called black men off the streets doing things that are ungodly? Oh man, I'm thankful for them, those those questions. Um, y'all be the glory. I say, I say, hotel. All that cool stuff that um the power people say. Um, well. You know, you know, I've been I've been studying nationality and and and, and law in that Bible. That's the main thing I've been studying lately. Um, we the indigenous people, the indigenous appellations of this um, land. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to get them off them streets because these is our streets. They got to know thyself. You know, that's an African proverb. Um, again, you know. Uh, I just did a little shootout with the police. I call that because um, because I do photographs and, and, and photography. Um, that's my new line. So that's 2020, um, 2020 clear vision media. Uh-huh, Y'all yes, can look me up, you know. But um, the current members of, of the current members of the Florida rights. Um, Restoration Coalition. I'm a, a current member. Um, so uh, a lot of the ones that selling, it's hard for them to get jobs and, and it's hard for them to get their driver license. So um, we've been we've been going hard in the paint, going across the, the city, towns, and nation, um, getting them to see how to get stuff done and get off the streets. One, one, if y'all need any help, you can text this number. Text this number and put in fines. Text the number and put in the word fines. Um, this is this will be for any fines that you have with settings. Any liens, you know, court costs. And it's 82623. And that's for settings who have fines or liens. It's time to just get you off the street. The first thing to getting you off the street is learning thyself, um, knowing who that is, uh, learning trades. You you can go from there. Getting God in your system. The foundation must be the most high. Your first foundation, he needs to be the first one. And don't lower your standards. Keep your integrity, you know. you got to keep your integrity. You, if you feel that you can't let your kids see it, then don't don't try to do it. Okay, 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 okay. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like yeah. to hear. So man, so people, man, y'all need to holler at Ambassador Carlos Dwayne, man, so he can let y'all know if you got any felonies on your record, how to get them off. He told yeah, you. You can call. You can make sure you call. You can call um four zero seven. Eight eight five nine zero six three or four zero seven nine zero one three seven four nine. And again, if you just want to just text, you can text the number four zero seven nine zero six three or four zero seven nine zero one three seven four nine. 
you can text the word FINES to 82623. Um, you get, if you call in, it'd be um, Mr. Nisha, Miss Jessica, um, Mr. Desmond. He got so much testimonies to give you. Uh, the last time they was down here, it was May. We had a charter bus. I parked the charter bus, told the charter bus to park right in the middle of the street, right in front of where, where the young men and, and, and young women look out the, it's called the Great Castle. That's what they call the county jail, the Great Castle. And they look out the window and, yeah. and seen that charter bus in the middle. And we was giving out um, the masks and, and hand sanitizers. Um, I did a photo shoot. With um, Chip Simmons, uh, Lumen May, um, the young lady off of Channel 3, Sue Strong. It was a lot of people who was there, and, and it was a good time. So it, it's time to get get switch up the mindset. We got to switch up the mindset. You got to change your mind to change your future. So that's the main way to get off them streets. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, so next question. That kind of goes along with my next question. Um, what is the church doing wrong in their approach to win souls? Oh man, boy, you be you be going hard in the paint, man. You go hard in the paint. That's why I've been fooling with you for years on top of years. Uh, well, I got baptized. I'm gonna be honest. I got baptized in your pops your pops church. So I'm blessed with that. You know, yeah. the only two people that was there with the two biggest men in my life, you know. That was my bishop and my uh, my dad, Jerry White. Um, so at that point, you know, I, uh, when I got baptized and changed my life, you become a new creature, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of times when people go in the church, they feel like they got to go when they, they all the way ready. But the church is, is made for people that's on the streets, that's homeless, that's that's, that's on drugs, that, that's going through suicidal thoughts, that's being molested, that's, that's, that's all these type of things that the church supposed to be the doctor. So these days they have taken the heads of the Most High and gave it over to the government. And that's called a 501c3. Mm -hmm. If y'all have time, I would like for y'all to look up 501c3, Deception of the Church. Mm -hmm. Because they no longer are governed by the Most High. Now they government, they govern by the government. So the ecclesia is the people of the church. That's speaking in Hebrew. Ecclesia, that means the people of the church. Mm -hmm. The people are the church. Yes, sir. People think the church is the, the Baptist church, the <laughs> Pentecostal church, <laughs> yeah. the, 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 the holiness church, mm -hmm. the Zionist church, mm -hmm. the, the, the temple, the, the, the mosque, the, and they, 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 they take away from the real church what, what the Most High really mean. He mean you, you the church, exactly. you the temple. The body of Christ. We the temple, mm -hmm. the body, you know, and it's many members. So you might have somebody that's Pentecostal, and this person is Muslim, and this person is is is. But the the whole point of it is, you're supposed to be able to speak to them, so they can understand that you're trying to bring them to to the Most High. That's the main that's the main subject. Exactly. But with the five hundred one C, the five hundred one C three. It takes away from God's commandments, God's laws, God's statutes, and it puts in their statutes with, uh, from, from not talking about uh, homosexual marriages, from not talking about racism, from not talking about political stuff, and if you do talk about it, they gonna make sure yeah, they that they the money. take. <laughs> They'll snatch the money yeah. because you you a non profit organization and you 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 done made yourself a corporation. You no longer a church, yeah. so now you a fictitious entity, mm -hmm. and they can control a fictitious entity, mm -hmm. but they can't control the ecclesia of the people. Mm -hmm. So 
that's how they, they, they got to come back to the ecclesia of the people if they want to bring and draw people back into it. They got to start giving out living water. They got to start telling us what the holy days is, what is the righteous way to eat. Uh-huh. And, and as we do that, then we can come back. We can come back to a real church where it's the body of the church and it ain't just um, hat day, senior day, kids day, pastor appreciation day, yep. all them type of things. They have all them type of things. Now you don't even know when unleavened bread, feast of tabernacle, uh, the feast of uh, trumpets. We just had the feast of trumpets. We had a hurricane down here. If people would have been going through with the feast of trumpets, they would have understood what the hurricane, because when a hurricane comes, what do it do? It just like a, a, a it sounds like a, a train. Mm-hmm. It blows the horn. You're going to hear the train. Even when the church starts saying something about Easter, but at Easter, it's called Passover. When Passover came, the Feast of Passover came, that's when people were celebrating Easter. So the church been telling folks about Easter, but if they were telling them about Passover, they would have knew that right. back in the days when the Hebrews, um, when the famine came, he told them all of them to stay in the house and be covered by the blood of the Most High. Be covered by the blood of the Most High. But if you don't know, if you don't know the feast go with the world, then, then we lost. We lost. We steady being yeah, lost. Because the whole the whole thing about Easter came from Estar because Nimrod was over the pagan holidays. Nimrod was married to his mother, Seramus. Seramus had, had had a son called Tammuz. Uh, uh, this was after um, Nimrod had got killed uh, by, I think, a wild pig. So, anyway, Seramus, his mother, had a son. They said it was a virgin birth. Um, yeah. um, and she called his son Tammuz. And he so-called, yeah. he was into bunnies. And, and eggs, and that's where that Easter egg and Easter bunny came from. But Easter is a pagan ho- Easter is a pagan holiday. Um, uh, uh, not uh, uh, but we really should be um celebrating Passover because we it's about the feast days and not yeah. holidays. It's about feast days, not ho- yeah. holy days, the not holy holidays. Couple, it's called holy complications. Yes. Y'all can look up the word holy complications, and, it, and all that is, is is a breakdown of the etymology of saying. Uh, saying the holy days, the holy feast. Exactly. So, so the Most High, the Most High, uh, Abu Yah has his own set holidays or holy days. See, I call them hella days. You know what I'm saying? Because just like Thanksgiving, that's still given. You know what I'm saying? They stole, they stole the land. Yeah. yeah. Then you got Black Friday. Mm-hmm. They were selling black people. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? They were selling Negroes. They were selling selling the 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 the, the uh, Moroccans or whatever you want to call them. Uh huh. So so bringing it back, we just gotta we gotta come together to learn from each other, and, and regardless of of where you come from or if you think this or if you think that, you gotta come back and obey. God instead of man. That's just the bottom line. We got to come back and obey God instead of man. With much wisdom cause comes much suffering. So a lot of times we we suffer through a lot of stuff and we be like, dang, man, why I'm going through this stuff? Mm-hmm. Because we don't switch teams. Mm-hmm. You don't switch teams from, from the devil to the most high and you're trying to do right. Exactly. And you should have known that. When you look in the mirror, I should know that. Mm-hmm. When, when, go with it, go with it. Yes, sir, yes, go sir. Yeah, you know, um, so, like, all right, so th- this is the next question. It goes along with what you were saying. Anyway, uh, what is the one thing you would change about yourself? Uh, procrastination, you know, fear. Um, once, once told that, that the opposite of fear, uh, is love, you know. People think hate is the opposite of of love, but fear, you know what I'm saying? Fear, fear stops so much stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, the fear of, of 
if you're going to be talked about because you wear your fringes, mm-hmm. or you're going to be talked about because you wear your kufi, or you're going to be talked about because you 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 do holistics, mm-hmm. you know, you're going to be talked about because you a black woman or a white woman or so those things go with it, go with it. Yeah, Give me the question again. Yeah. The question. yeah, you got it, you got it, you got it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just being able, I'm if I was, if I, cause, cause, cause if I, you know what I'm saying, had to change something about myself, what yeah. would I change? I would change the fact that I wish that I can do more, cause I want to do more. I want to do more, but at the same time, I can only do so much. Yeah, I mean, let the righteous be righteous, let the wicked be wicked. Yeah, you know, let the righteous be righteous, let the wicked be wicked. And he came for the lost. Yeah. So, so those who already think they righteous and better than us, they gonna be righteous and better than us. Yeah. You know, they already think they righteous and better than us, cause a lot of them think they better than us, and they tell us, um, you ain't nothing. I heard, I heard Momo say that to me last night, uh, for my daughter. She was at work, and, and one of the people said that to. Her. You know, and I know how powerful she is, you know, uh-huh. but we got to humble ourselves, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and with change, see, with change, first thing with change, you going you gonna to reject it. Oh, man, I ain't with that. Yeah. And then with change, you might, you going to notice that, oh, this change is for me. Yeah. You know, and you got to weather the storm. Yeah. You got to weather the storm, you know. Yeah. You got to weather the storm and, yeah. and, and obedience. I want to be more obedient. Exactly. I want to be more obedient. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want to believe more. I want to, you know, put more faith in it and and and, and receive more. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the change, the change, you know, they, they think about Obama with the change. Right, <laughs> yeah. The change, the change yeah. come with self. The change come with yeah. self. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't want to change, the change will not come. Cool. If you don't want to change, the change will not come. Exactly. I had to say that twice for them, so yeah. they can, so they can understand, understand. Yeah, exactly. And receive it. Exactly. It's just like, it's like, um, failure. It's, it's not it doesn't mean to not accomplish yeah. you know what I'm saying but quitting means never to achieve it's, it's <laughs> you know it's what I'm saying it's, 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 better, it's, it's, a, it's better to shoot a hundred shots and miss than never shoot a shot at all yeah. and yeah. not knowing that you can even shoot a shot yeah. you know and Michael Jordan Michael Jordan said a, a, a good one a person to look at Michael Jordan and, and give his stats and all that stuff, and you know they'll weigh him up against Kobe and yeah. and all that stuff. But I tend to look at those dudes. I don't watch. I don't watch TV like that. Exactly. I know you don't really watch TV like that either. So yeah. I really don't care about that stats. So I go look at the wisdom of, or or the wisdom of, of Bruce Lee, the wisdom of Apostle this person, or the wisdom of. You know, yeah. or the elder, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. I guess. I guess. All right, so we're going to go to the next question and we're going to wrap this up. So, uh, it's actually two questions, but it, it's just going to lead to one question, lead to one answer. So, yeah. uh, if someone had a death, death in one hand and life in the other, which one would you choose? And if someone had a Bible in one hand, and money in the other hand, which one will you choose? Well, you said life in one hand what? and death in the other. Yeah, and then the Bible in one hand and money in the in other hand. Which one would you choose? It's best to choose life, you know. Exactly. But but every day we choose death, and he gives us so many options. Um. I've been fighting a spiritual battle that probably a lot of my people, a lot of them done stop smoking though, but you know, I, I done be smoking weed and drinking mm-hmm. and, yeah. and whoremongling pretty much, all you know. Yeah. And it goes to say though, it's like, because he gives you so many options, you can't, 
really deny because even with the sexual action, it gives you the chance to call the person. You got to call the person. You got to, or you got to pull it. You got to, you got to go get a cup. You see, you got so many, just like with smoking a cigarette or something, mm-hmm. or picking up a drink. You got to go to the liquor store. You could have stopped. You could, he gave you so many options. And that's where choice come in. At. Mm-hmm. That's where choice come in. And he tell you, you can you can either choose life or choose uh, damnation. Or, 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 but it's on you. It, 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 it becomes to be on you. But you know, um, in Romans 8, where Paul say, I do as I, that I don't do. And I, you know, because the flesh is very, very weak. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. But a lot of people in the flesh... Um, we choose death. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I'm optimistic. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The, the the glasses always have full, regardless of if I got the last sip. I think I can. I know he can pull in uh, that that man of word, that Raymond word. Shout out to Raymond word clothing too. Uh, he got that manner for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He gonna pull in living water, regardless if I got one drop up in there. He is to the port. He got everlasting water. That's what he said to the lady at the at the well. Uh-huh. If you knew who I was, you wouldn't you wouldn't even talk about thirsting and all that stuff. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So guess what? It goes back to say, um, because you said the Bible of money, and I done had that choice. Like literally, looked at Hasatan or one of his members in their face, him with the bag. I know what he is, and I choose. I chose. I chose the word because all I could think about was what I really want to do when I do get that check in a righteous way. That's yeah. why I stopped smoking weed. That's why I stopped drinking. I say the next time I get my mama a house, or my daddy, or my mom and my daddy a house, or my daughter, or myself a house, it's gonna be righteous. And if I get me a Lambo or something like that, I'm going to have Yahweh on the side of the door, Yahshua on the side of the door. It don't matter if a witch get up in there. They're going to have to lift up the name of my of my creator, of our creator. And I couldn't choose money because money is fiat. It, it, mm-hmm. It's a perception. Money if money is not backed up by gold. See, when, when my granddaddy taught me a long time about perception of money. And he taught me this when I was probably six, seven, eight years old. Mm-hmm. He showed me what a dollar bill was, a five dollar bill, a ten, a fifty, a hundred, and gave me all of them. You see what I'm saying? And he asked me this one question. That same day he asked me on that dollar bill, he asked me what that pyramid in that eye was. And I told him, and, and that's that's Leroy Franklin, the the great honorable Elder, noble, Leroy Franklin, white senior. You know what I'm saying? He he asked me, he said, what this is, young Moses? And I told him I didn't know. And it was, it was, it took me years on top of years to find out what that, that dollar bill with the, with the, with the half pyramid, with the eye on top of it mm-hmm. was. Mm-hmm. Horse? This what I'm saying. So, as I as I as I started studying, um, the first person I ever heard said was the one that passed away um, off of Mob Deep. Um, he said Illuminati the first time I ever heard it before Tupac said Illuminati or Kill a Illuminati, and that was way back in ninety eight ninety seven. And and I started researching from then. So I've been on this this search since probably about ninety seven ninety eight. Um, from ballistics, from 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 Kemet to E5, from you know all type of stuff, from 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 my granddaddy being a mason to him passing masonry, going to uh, to to a shriner. So he 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 installed in me a lot of stuff that made me know that the money it, it, it tells about in the Bible where it was a man that had so much food and so much abundance that he had to build another shed. And when he was got done building this other shed, he said, oh, I'm good now. I'm good. I don't need nothing else. 
and God took his soul. What is a man that profit the world and lose his soul? Mm -hmm. It's another scripture that, that the Most High says that one grain of salt or one grain of dirt, one grain of dirt. Now think about all the dirt on the world from the waters, from the beach, from in your house, in your car. He say one grain of sand is our lifespan and the rest of the sand is eternity. So if you think about one little grain of sand <laughs> or that mustard seed of faith, uh -huh. you know, Matthew 17, 20, 21, uh -huh. your, your, uh, Bishop Crenshaw, um, when I had my thing, he had um, my push. He had gave me little vials. And back then I was hustling, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Not knowing that he was he was planting that seed in me because that's what I told him I wanted to do. And he bought me some vials and put mustard seeds in them vials with the holy oil. And I was handing it to my partners, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose, I'm going to choose the word. Because a lot of people think ignorance is bliss, mm -hmm. but I, I I beg to differ. I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Um, yeah, go with it. You know. Okay, okay man, we gonna have to get you back on here, Ambassador Carlos Dwayne. Man, we gonna have to get you back on here. I'm man. gonna have to get you back on here. But uh, this was Let a me good make show. Sure I just shout out for for my uh 2020 Clear Vision Media. Uh, you can catch up to me Facebook, Instagram, Ambassador for um, y'all. Yeah. Um, catch up to me on YouTube, my YouTube channel, Ambassador Carlos Dwayne. Um, you can catch my email, Ambassador Carlos Dwayne L. Um, just, just get back at me. Y'all get back at me. If y'all want another session, we ready. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, all right, all right, man. All right, people. This was another episode of the Taylor Made McCrenzy Show. You can chase your dreams in your sleep, but for those who are awake, shall receive a real revelation. Oh, yeah.